welcome back. It's Friday morning. We have Karen in yep. the house. Yes. And we have a lot of people in the house. We have a lot of people house. in this house. We have a packed house. That's right. Now, guys, just, just so you know, anything that we say in this presentation is not meant to diagnose you, cure you, reduce your symptoms, help you in any way uh, that's related to any medical There's diseases. no help for you. Right. Yes. And if, if you happen to be cured by any, anything that we do or say, had nothing to it's do not with our us. fault. Right. Don't mention our names. Right. We okay? weren't there. Because it's illegal to cure people it nowadays. It is illegal. We cannot help you in any way. This is just information, food for thought, <laughs> and entertainment. Okay, Boy, let's... Boy, that, that was really... That was hardcore today. Why don't you... Um, while you're looking for some good questions... Yeah. I'm going to go right to uh, Courtney. She's been waiting for 26 minutes, so... Okay. Hey, Courtney, you're from Ohio. How are you? Good. What was your question? So I've heard anything that is sweet tasting will spike insulin. Is this actually happening? Good question. No, it's not about the sweet tasting. It's about the carbohydrate content. So, um, yeah. So if you have, for example, stevia, it's sweet. Um, it's not going to spike insulin. We've tested this. Um, so it really has to do with um, how fast that carbohydrates turns Turn into it turns into a sugar, and also um, how it affects insulin. Um, even though, for example, on a side note, fiber is a carbohydrate, that won't inc increase insulin. Of course, it's not sweet, but yeah, just the taste of it is not not going to increase insulin at all. Okay, great. Thank all right. you. You're welcome. Okay. Hey Tim, you're from Toronto. You had a question about that last ten pounds, yes. right? That's right. Hi. Hi, how are thank you? Thank you, Dr. Berg. You're welcome. I'm good, thank you. Thanks to you, I've lost 110 pounds. Wow. That's incredible. Woo! So thank you. All, all since September. So wow. is, there something extra I, is there something extra I can do mm -hmm. to help lose the last 10 pounds? And how can I tighten loose skin? Got it. Okay. So you want to tighten loose skin, lose that extra 10 pounds. And you started in December? Uh, in September. 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 So from September to now, you've basically, you've lost how many pounds? Uh, 110 pounds. That's pretty good. That's actually really good. So that's like... Thank you very much. That's like a I'm miraculous. Very proud. Yeah, you should be proud. So here's the thing, Tim. Here's what Thank you, you very much. You're welcome. T Tim, so here's a couple things you need to do. Um, it's all about getting healthy first, then lose weight. Um, you're in the process. A lot of times you'll, you'll reach, the, reach these little plateaus that you'll actually, you won't lose. And what's happening during these times is that your body is repairing something, and then all of a sudden you start losing more. So Because the body considers um, getting healthy as a reparative action, not necessarily just burning fat. Um, so. I think you're way above average, and I think if you want to lose that last 10 pounds, you're going to have to either lower your carbs a little bit more down to 10 grams per day, uh, and increase your intermittent fasting to the point where you're doing one meal a day, maybe even longer, maybe every other day, if you really want to take it to the next level. And then you can also cut down some of the fat that you're eating. Not terribly low, but if you get it around 75 grams, that should be the icing in the cake. I'm sorry, I don't want to talk about cake. That should actually help you. Um, the other thing I was going to mention is that um, to some people that are struggling, you just have to realize that um, you've got to give it more time. You're doing everything right. Maybe it's not coming out fast enough, but it, sometimes it takes like a couple years to get your body healthy. So just, you know, don't like set yourself up for a failure. Just realize it's going to be a long-term process and stick it out, but eventually you will lose the weight. And as far as your skin goes, for that, you want to do more intermittent fasting. That will actually tighten the skin, and you're going to have to do some form of um, physical activity. We call it exercise. So you have to actually work those muscles, work the body um, to tighten up that skin. All right, thanks for your call, Tim. All right, you need a little more time? Well, I just want to know, guys, is Facebook up? Okay. So, I mean, I have, I have an interesting question here. 
Can you just yeah. take electrolytes and wheatgrass juice powder instead of vegetables? Electrolytes and wheat, wheatgrass powder. Well, That's here, a setup. That's here's, a here's the thing. The, um, I mean, vegetables give you several things. They give you the nutrients, the vitamins, vitamin C, not all the vitamins. They give you vitamin C, uh, vitamin E, for example, they'll give you uh, potassium, magnesium, and phytonutrients. So the electrolyte powder does have a lot of those. Um, it's good to enhance your vegetables. It doesn't have any fiber though. Uh, I do really believe that people do need to have the vegetables also for the fiber content to feed the microbes. You have, do you, do you know how many cells you have in your body? Sure. Lots. I have no idea. You have trillions. You have a um, hundred trillion cells. See, I was right. Yeah, and do you know how many microbes that you have? 300 trillion. Thousand trillion. A thousand trillion. A thousand trillion. A now, lot more I microbes. might be off by a, a trillion. Couple, I might be off by a trillion. <laughs> <laughs> but, but here's the thing, you have a lot more microbes than you do your cells. I can tell you that for a fact. So if you have trillions of microbes that are living inside and outside your body, they have to eat too. Guess what they eat? Fiber. Fiber. Yeah. So. Um, well, what do the microbes on the outside of my body eat? Fiber. Well, okay, that's a good point. They'll eat your dead skin cells. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry to tell you that. No, that's good. I think that's good. They clean up stuff. They'll eat. Also, they'll eat some of your um, sweat, uh, sweat and your oil on your skin. Do you want me to go into detail? Yeah. yeah. No. Okay. No, we're good. So, so what was the original point? The original point, which I'm not sure um, where I'm going with this, but uh, coming full circle back to what I was talking about, um, there's a product that I have called Wheatgrass Juice That's Powder. That's what I was waiting for. Um, there's another product, people are wondering about this right here, Veggie Solution. This, is, this is, has the fiber in it. So it's basically, it's, so the it's mainly for enhancement for your vegetables. It's called Veggie Solution. Right. The Wheatgrass Juice Powder, would be good for a, more of a nutrient type of enhancement, but it's a little bit different because it doesn't have the fiber. Right. Now, if you have um, problems with your gut, if you have what's called SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, where you're, you eat anything and you have all these microbes that are gassing you out, then you would be better at cutting out the vegetables for a month and letting your system reset. In which case, the wheatgrass juice powder would be really good because there's no fiber. So wow, it's that was kind of a deeper so question. So way more complicated I know. question than I thought. I thought you were going to say no, but eat the veggie solution. When you do keto, it's, um, if you're enhancing your, your potassium and your minerals, um, you're going to be pretty good. But the, sooner or later, you're going to need some other nutrients. But the whole point is the worse the digestive system is, um, the... Okay, I got it. I got this camera right here, right? No, I know, but read. Read the camera. It says, let's take a quick break. Okay. All right. Hey, guys, you know oh, what? We're going to take just a few minutes break. We're going to reset. That's Facebook. what they're waiting for me. We have to reset Facebook. Okay, don't, don't go, go anywhere. Away. We'll be right back. Stay. And I got three quizzes for you. Yeah, stay put.